Hello and welcome back to Game Start. I'm your host Bardic Knowledge, and uh, let's try for a shorter episode this time. No, it can't be. Could the heavens truly have sided with the apes? Listen, primates, and let it be known: we reptites fought bravely to the bitter end. Ayla, understand? Huh? And here he comes. Well, I say he, but soon, stones of fire will rain down. Flames shall scorch the land. The burned out plains will slowly freeze, ushering in a long, cruel ice age. <laughs> what a treat. You will wish you went along with us. <laughs> Lavos. Lavos? Impossible. Not impossible. For here it comes. The giant space flea. Which you never really get to... Like with a lot of stuff that's kind of incidental, I suppose. You never learn much about the history of Lavos or its kind. Uh, excuse me. I had a thick idea at one point that um, Lavos's kind were biological probes that a species sent out so it could learn from the genetics of various planets and then use that to augment itself and become perfect. Just like a particular... I don't know if that... No, that's more Yami. Um, absolutely perfect. I don't think I can do a perfect cell. Um, but anyway. And um, then they f don't find out that their bioprobes are destroying the planets that they're sending them to until long after they've evolved past compassion. Uh, if you could ever do something like that. But, um, Ayla word. La mean fire. Vos mean big. So he is fire big. Yep. Ayla. Kino. Hurry. Lavos come soon. All right, Dactyl. Kino, hurry! Ayla, what do you do? Come. Azala, come. Absolutely not. The powers that be have spoken. Ayla, hurry. That'd be an interesting fanfic of if Azala were persuaded to go with them and then the reptites and the humans coexist because of that act of compassion that'd, that'd be an interesting one I don't think anyone's ever written that fic Azala me not forget the future future? what about future? we have no future Though I suppose there is a slight wrinkle to my big idea right there, in that reptites, if they are indeed reptilian and therefore cold-blooded, would not survive the Ice Age. Sorry, I had to pause for Lavos. He had something to say. Twice, apparently. So, Lavos was born here. And there's us, way down in the distance. Lavos, huge! Chrono, fight it? Chrono, we go where Lavos fall. Lavos should be weaker now. Perhaps we can put an end to him. Nope. 
Because he went down real fast. Ooh, there's an interest. There's a game theory for you. How fast? Or, or like, how fast was Lavos going when he impacted Kronos? As I and probably a few other people have named the world of Chrono Trigger. A gate has formed. Lavos very fast. Deep under Earth already. It appears that the immense energy that Lavos radiates alters time and creates gates. What's wrong, Chrono? Fight Lavos. Go in here. Yes? Yes, but... I'm gonna switch my party up a bit, I think. Well, I don't know. What... How close is Ayla to learning Rock Throw? 37... Yeah, we'll, we'll keep going with this party for now. Though, I don't think we have any fights for a while yet. I think it's mostly story for a while. <sighs> Just that wind is making me chill. The time gyro says, What? 12,000 years? 12,000 years in the past? Not... White, it's more 12,000 before Guardia. So that would be uh, 14,300 years before we got you, Robo. That was some trip. Where this, Chrono? Welcome to the Ice Age. It lasted a long time in this universe, apparently. Oh yeah, you can come, come to Terra Cave, also called the Earthbound Village, but you can't go in. Yet. So instead, you have to go this way, to this mysterious place, called a Skyway, or Sky Bridge, I think, in the DS translation. Time circuits. So let's visit Inhasa. And oh, doesn't this person look familiar? Well, you're wrong, because it's Doreen. This is the eternal kingdom of Zeal, where dreams can come true. But at what price? What strange visitors. Welcome to Zeal. Is this part of a dream? Queen Zeal rules our magical kingdom. She is without peer in beauty and greatness. Yeah. Um, okay, so that is a point in a story I was reading that has that magic flourished after King Zeal died. So they're uh, Somna Philosophers. I suppose that would be the correct mangling. Uh, Am I a butterfly dreaming I'm a man? Or a bowling ball dreaming I'm a plate of sashimi? Never assume that what you see and feel is real. And that was a riff on an old philosophical statement of... Um, Am I a man dreaming I'm a butterfly, or a butterfly dreaming I'm a man? Said after, I forget who, uh, had a really intense dream about being a butterfly. Apparently I cannot interact- oh, there it is. Interact with this Poyozo doll. So this is a, a bit of a loaded question. Um, I'm not entirely sure... Uh, I believe he said that there, everything is predetermined. Which I don't quite believe. I believe we choose our own fate, but we all have the same destiny. Which is to die. Eventually. Everything ends. But life goes on. But we, we choose our fate, but everyone shares the same destiny. I, that's the way I put it. So. He has it the other way around. As to, for his thing, 
Hmm, herbal tea. I should have some tea later. Let's see if I can... Okay, so that's water. Okay, this is a secret thing that you're not supposed to figure out the combination to, I think, until another uh, city. But it's... Water turns to wind, wind makes fire dance. So actually, I do want water. So remember that that one's there. And then I think this one is fire? Yes. So I need to find wind. The jar. Ah, yes, and Blackbird. And one more conversation with Doreen. I'm Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge, each in turn. And what she means by that is books. Books are the doors of knowledge. And this is important for later, because that diamond is near somewhere we've already been. You'll find out when I go there. And... Eh, we'll buy some more mid-tonics, I think. I've got a lot of cash right now. One more revive, make that an even number. Oh, we've got full tonics. Why, why did I not buy full tonics? There. That was a bit more than I thought I was going to spend. Oh well. What's done is done. Let's sell some weapons we don't need anymore. Oh, keeping that. Apparently I never equipped uh, Luca with her ruby gun. I keep forgetting that uh, yeah, I need to keep three of them for reasons. Probably. And I keep forgetting that up goes up by 10 and right goes up by um, by 1. That's the word I wanted. There, I've made up, or made back most of the money I just spent. Now for the introduction of an interesting character. How may I help you? What's wrong? That animal, good food. You do not eat Alphador. The black wind howls. One among you will shortly perish. I is it true? What are the percentages? Why did he say such a thing? Strange one, but not bad boy. So, oh, spring of recovery. Oop, fully healed. Wonder what's inside the North Palace. Okay, that's the place with the elemental weapons. Though they're not really elemental weapons when you find them. Okay, so, that's the wind book. So I will be ending this after I open the secret door. So water turns to wind. Wind makes fire dance. And the secret door is open. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I forgot that um, I was wrong about the only places you can fight the new. Uh, it's the hunting grounds, the cursed woods on very rare occasions, and in a couple places here in Zeal. I think this room is one of them. The Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. All life begins with new and ends with new. This is the truth. This is my belief. At least for now. And that was Balthazar, the Guru of Reason. So we'll talk to this new next time. So until the next, live well.